I'm old enough to remember when Wayne Gretzky played hockey. And uh, one time somebody interviewed him and asked him how he was so successful, what he did that made him different than everyone else. Here's his quote. He said, I skate to where the puck is going to be, not where it has been. I like that quote because it talks about intentionality. It talks about making a decision ahead of time rather than just reacting. He's saying, I'm thinking ahead and I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to go and where the puck's going to be. I'm not just responding to this one moment. I'm thinking moments and moments down the way. When I first heard that quote years ago, it really struck me because for most of my life, I have been reactive rather than intentional. In other words, even in my job, I've kind of sat around with the idea that I need to serve people. And so then I've just sat here waiting for people to demand things from me. And then I go and serve them. I've reacted to people's demands. Uh, lots of times that's been fine. And lots of times you're not going to get a choice. But sometimes just being reactive all the time, just doing what others expect you to do doesn't let you do the best thing you can do and and doesn't make you feel very good about the things you're doing because you haven't chosen to do them you're allowing others to choose for you as well someone said that if you're reactive all the time then what happens is you're going to follow the path that brings the least amount of pain rather than the most amount of good in other words if if you're just reacting to the things around you you're going to try and to just respond as quickly as possible and as easily as possible. You're going to take the path of least resistance and least pain rather than deciding for yourself what is the best thing to do. Sometimes the decisions we make to get the best things are going to be the hardest things. We can decide to do something much more difficult if we've chosen to do it. And so what I want to encourage you in this morning is just very simply this. Try and live your life intentionally rather than reactively. D decide what's important to you and follow those things. Decide what you're going to value and do those things. Decide what is important and, and then make those things the priority. Because here's the thing, if you, don't, if you don't decide for yourself, someone will decide for you. If you don't decide what you're going to do, someone will impose their uh, agenda on you. The very best way to do things is not to be reactive, but intentional. That's what the Proverbs talk about lots of times. Proverbs chapter 4 says this in verse 23. Above all else, guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. Put away perversity from your mouth and keep corrupt talk far from your lips. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Make level the paths for your feet, or some say consider the way that you walk. And only take the ways that are firm. Do not swerve to the right or the left. Keep your feet from evil. All of those are decisions. All of those are the result of someone saying, I'm going to go this way. This is what's important to me. This is what my life is going to be about. It's necessary once in a while to react to others' needs, to jump in when someone needs you and, and asks for your help, obviously. But that's a terrible way to live all the time. Don't be pushed around by everyone else's agenda. Decide what is important. And the proverb says, decide to live for God. When we do that, we will use our time much more efficiently. We will end the day with better results and we will feel better about the things we have done because we will be intentional rather than reactive.